Hi, my name is Dave for Alex Fergus and AlexFergus.com, and today I'm bringing you a product overview and product review of the BioStrap. Now, the BioStrap is a wrist worn biometric and activity tracking device, kind of similar to the Aura Ring or some of the new Fitbit models that are on the market. It'll track your heart rate, heart rate variability, uh, oxygen saturation and respiration rates. It'll also give you a recovery slash rec uh, readiness score in the morning as well as track your sleep. So in this review let's uh, do an up close look at the device itself and what comes in the packaging then take a look at the app and then come back here for some pros and cons on whether or not the BioStrap might be a device that you should consider to track your workouts and biometrics on a daily basis. Okay, so this is what you get when you buy just the biometric set and not the set with the shoe pod. It comes in this cylinder here. Um, you get a wristband, an induction charger, micro USB cable. So let's go ahead and open up the box and take a look at what's inside. So right on the top you're going to see your bio strap and it's already going to be inside of the 2.0 band that has the uh, texture on it and it has the newer clasp on it. Let me see here. I can get that open. It's got the peg style that fits into the little hole there and then you just tuck that under there like that. So let's put that off to the side and underneath that you get the two different colored wristbands that also come with it. The older style you get a blue one and you also get a beige one. And the beige one uses a different uh, closing, closing mechanism here. As you can see it has these two little chevron shaped things that fit into these little grooves on the back. So to change the uh, band out, all you have to do is flip the bio strap over itself and you just kind of pull like that and then the uh, sensor module itself comes right on out like that. It's very simple and you can just put it into the other strap. It just fits it right down in there and you just kind of wiggle it in. Like I said, these straps are very soft and pliable so it doesn't take much to really get it in there. Also get the uh, induction charger. And it's a little uh, disc like this with a micro USB here. Uh, there also is a micro USB cable in, in the package itself but I, uh, I'm, I'm using it for something else right now. And to charge the device you just plug the disc in to USB and you set the bio strap down on top of it like that and it takes about 90 minutes to charge um, but the battery life is about two days maybe two and a half days tops but like I said it only takes about 90 minutes to two hours to uh, to recharge so that's not too bad um, also in the package you do get um, a little bit of a, a little instruction manual but it's pretty basic because most of the instructions are covered through the frequently asked questions inside the app so with that done let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, BioStrap app itself and then uh, we'll finish up with some final thoughts and pros and cons alright here we are looking at the BioStrap app okay so when you first open the app uh, here's your home screen it's your dashboard Oh, and it's decided that it wants to sync with my strap. That's fine. Um, so on the dashboard screen, you can see the steps, the active calories, my resting heart rate, heart rate variability, breathing rate, and oxygen saturation. Um, activity, recovery, and sleep are across the top. So my recovery score today is 66, and my sleep score is 93. I got a ridiculous number of uh, hours there for sleep hours and minutes. So I guess first things first, let's take a look at the steps. There you go. There's your graph there showing you when it detected steps, how many calories, duration, and whatnot. Now you can also go and look at the week, weekly totals, the monthly totals, and the yearly totals as well. Now yearly is basically just a combination of the last few months. So let's go back here and let's take a look at active calories and it's kind of just like the steps there you know we can go through the weeks months year and one thing to note too is that anytime you see this export button at the top you can export out a screenshot of whatever screen you're on inside the app which is pretty cool so uh, resting heart rate let's take a look at that okay so this is a little bit different kind of graph it actually has data points instead of you know like a bar graph um, so purple are overnight while you're sleeping and white are daytime readings. 
So you can see my highest, lowest, baseline, and average. And then you can double, you can pinch and pull and zoom in actually on these. So the bio strap overnight by default will take a biometric reading of your um, of your vitals every five minutes. That's what these purple dots are right there. And during the day, it does by default every 10 minutes. So we can also look at the heart rate variability. Same kind of thing, only with the heart rate variability, it also has that line there. That's your recovery rate. And you can look at the week, and then it gives you a little breakdown here of your average. Right there, you see that? You see a desirable range. And then you can look, take a look at your month. Now you can see I got a little bit low down there. I was actually undergoing an intestinal cleanse, um, which, uh, which kind of coincides, interestingly enough, coincides with that. So that does make a lot of sense why my heart rate variability, my body was under a little bit more stress during those uh, few days there. That's kind of interesting, actually. Okay, um, breathing rate. And same kind of deal here. You can see all the data points and also with the oxygen saturation. So same kind of thing there. Okay, so that's your basic um, home screen with all of your different uh, main biometric readings right there. So insights, click on that, and it gives you kind of an overview of how you stack up to all of the other BioStrap users. Um, it also gives you at the top here positive influences on your that your de your data levels. So you can see um, early sleep onset increased my light sleep by 7.4 percent, and the active cap more getting more active calories increased my light sleep by 2.5 percent. So scrolling on down, we get this nice radar chart. Now the white inside part that that is the average of the BioStrap user user base, and the orange part around the outside is where I stack up. So, and if you want to see the actual numbers on that for yourself, you can touch on each one of these. Let's see if I can get one to pop. There you go. So my value, seven hours and eight minutes of total sleep. Population average, five hours, 34 minutes. My percentile, 88%. And you can do that on any one of these values. Okay, so let's go back to the dashboard. So the little person icon at the top left-hand corner, that's if you wanted to share your data with somebody like a personal trainer or a coach. It's called remote monitoring. So let's go back to today. So that's uh, that's it there. Let's take a look at the activities. Okay, so here's my activity timeline. This is where you would find any um, entries for activities that you've recorded with the BioStrap. Um, I mainly am using it for meditation right now. So if I was to do like uh, yoga or weightlifting or running or elliptical, those would also show up here in this timeline as well you would get to those by using the record function right here. So one of the nice things about the BioStrap is that the ability to do biometric reports. Now I can do a two minute scan or I can do a comprehensive pulse report and it'll actually email it to you and you'll get like this PDF that has all of this data, basically your HR, HRV score and also your uh, low frequency and high frequency and which is your parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous systems. Um, so if you really want to go down the rabbit hole um, with HRV data, you can use the biometric um, comprehensive pulse report and get a really good five minute read and a, and a report sent to your email address. Now this is Sleep Lab here. <clears throat> and if you want to, you can optionally sign up for the Sleep Lab subscription and that enables you to track snoring levels, you know, um, leg movement and max biometrics, which means every two minutes instead of every five minutes. Um, honestly, I have to say I'm a little bit unsold. I'm not really, well, I'm not sold on the snoring levels. Um, because what if your partner, if you share a bed, they snore? Or what if you have a dog in your room and it snores? Um, how's the bio strap supposed to know the difference? So I might not renew the Sleep Lab subscription. Now, Meditation Plus, in fact, we're going to take a look at that in a second here. Um, it, that too is optional. Um, and what that adds beyond just regular biometric tracking is it gives you access to Brain.fm, which is another separate app that's out there on the App Store. Um, it lets you use their meditation uh, soundscape while it records your biometrics. And I'll show you here. So you tap on that and you can choose how long you want your meditation session to be. So let's, you know, let's just pick 10 minutes and it'll start. And I don't know if you'll be able to hear this in the microphone or not. 
there we go. And so at any time, if you actually don't want to have that background music or background sounds, you can just hit the pause button. And so there you go. And then if you want to stop your session early, you can just hit the stop button. But yeah, see, it's uh, too short of a session. Okay, that's fine. So, all right, let's take a look at settings here. Now in settings, you've got the, uh, the battery percentage there on the upper left-hand corner. You can manage remote monitoring. Let's see here. So you can establish a connection with another BioStrap user to monitor their data, yada, yada. You, basically, you can request a connection to somebody else instead of giving somebody access. Okay, here's the exercise library. Now, one of the things that the BioStrap allows you to do is it allows you to train your own custom exercises. So that's what the uh, exercise library is for. It's for a listing of the ones that you've recorded. So you can set up your daily goals as well. Um, so I, mine is general muscle fitness, but you can do a couple of different ones there support it's built into the app so it's actually it'll launch a chat window so that you can actually type like a text message and they'll get back to you um the same way that's kind of cool i don't feel like opening that up because i don't think i want to submit a support question <laughs> uh frequently asked questions so there's a couple of different articles troubleshooting common questions understanding the data and features which i think is really nice because i think for a lot of people that get this device it's great to have all the information, but if you don't know what the information is and how how you're how you can use it, it's going to be useless. So being able to understand the data is really important. So I'm glad to see that they've created a couple of articles about that. They've even got some videos here too. Um, so if you click on the BioStrap itself, it'll show you the battery percentage, last time it's synced, and this is where you can increase your biometric readings like that and it'll take readings every five minutes instead of every 10 minutes. Okay. Okay. Um, so you all, also at the top, you can add a device, like if you wanted to add a shoe pod, which I don't have, or you wanted to add a third-party heart rate monitor, like a polar chest strap, which is pretty cool. So if you've got a chest strap that you're already using, uh, you can get the bio strap and use the chest strap for live, like, you know, live bio, uh, live biometric readings. So it'll actually read your heart rate in real time and add that data into the app itself. So I don't think I have any devices. So there we go. Now, the other button at the top right hand corner is the market where you can subscribe for Meditation Plus and the Sleep Lab. Let's take a look at Meditation Plus because, again, because I don't think I explained a little. So, okay, so here's my activity timeline. And now using Meditation Plus, um, I recorded a couple of meditation sessions. So let's open up the most recent one here. So I get a Zen score. Now, if you don't have Meditation Plus, you don't get the Zen score. It just tracks your, your uh, biometrics like, it, like this down here. And you can see HRV and respiration rate. Also is this how are you feeling thing. Click on that. And you can say, eh, I felt pretty good, da, 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 da. Uh, I was calm, and um, I was hungover. No, I'm not, not hungover. But uh, you can add that in there as well, sort of like a journal entry. But these two factors right here with the heart rate and HRV, my HRV went up, my heart rate went down, and my respiration stayed pretty close to average. Uh, See how you can do that? You can drag your finger across and see at any given point where all of their biometrics match up. So if you wanted to do another activity instead of meditate, you click the change here and you've got gym workout, auto detects cardio and weight training. And then you can do cycling, elliptical, rowing, running. I mean, there's a ton of different activities you can choose from to track your biometric readings. Now, the ones that have the little uh, padlock on them mean that you need to have the shoe pod for. All right, here we are, back to the beginning. And I think that's just about covers the BioStrap app itself. Oh, I didn't even take a look at the sleep. So let's take a look at sleep, which is pretty neat. Okay, there we go. So just like with the meditation, um, it'll it also has a some uh, sleep survey here about how you felt. So I already did that today. But uh, there's my sleep score um, in my contributing factors, total sleep, deep sleep, efficiency. Looks like my penalties, I had an elevated average heart rate. So that brought down 
my sleep score. All right, so here we're taking a look at the sleep stages. Now, one thing um, I've noticed is it only has awake, light, and deep. I think it kind of bunches REM sleep in there with either light. I think I think light and REM are kind of the same. So, yeah, I did wake up in the middle of the night a couple of times there. And then here are my biometric scores overnight. And then also down here it shows disturbances because it does have an accelerometer in your in the uh, in the bio strap. So it looks like at around this uh, one o'clock this morning, it looks like I had some disturbances. And also you can edit your onset or wake up time in the event that it was wrong about when you actually fell asleep or woke up. I haven't had to do that because it does a really good job at auto, de auto detecting. And then if you want to take a look at more than just today, you can also click on the week, month, year, Let's take a look at the month. My average sleep score for the past month is 92. And it shows you your sleep stages and your movement trends. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So you can see it does a really in-depth uh, job here with your uh, sleep tracking. So back to the dashboard. So that is pretty much it for the BioStrap. Okay, so we've taken a look at the BioStrap up close and personal. We've seen what comes in the box, and we've taken a look at the hardware. We've also looked at the application itself and seen how in-depth the different uh, biometric charts are and all the different types of da data that it gathers. So let's go over a few pros and cons of this device to see if maybe it's something that you might want to look into. So as far as pros go, I like the price. I like that for about $159, dollars you get a pretty comprehensive suite of biometric uh, gathering tools there. You get heart rate, heart rate variability, uh, oxygen saturation, uh, respiration rate. You have the ability to get a readiness slash recovery score in the morning to track your sleep. You also can use it when you're in the gym or doing yoga. Uh, you can use it while you're meditating. So it really does encompass a lot of different areas of, of a general wellness and fitness uh, routine. And you can see all of the impacts that all of the different things that you're doing have on your body. So I think that for the price, it's a really good deal. Um, I like the fact that you can also get just the bio strap itself or the shoe pod bio strap combo for more money. So you don't have to get the entire complete set to see if the bio strap is, is going to work for you. Um, another pro, um, I like the uh, I like the form factor. I like the soft rubber. I think it works well for me. That might be a con actually for some people. Um, so let's see some other pros that I have with the bio strap. I like the fact that I can export my data out of the bio strap via either just screenshots or I can use the um, the web utility, which they just announced, uh, you can log into your account on the BioStrap website and download all of your biometric data as uh, a .csv, which is like an Excel file or a JSON file. So that's pretty cool. Um, uh, let's go over some cons because there are a few cons to this device. Now, there, uh, the first con is that it doesn't have an airplane mode. So this, uh, the BioStrap uses Bluetooth LE, which is low energy, but there isn't a way to turn it off. It's always transmitting Bluetooth, always. So there isn't a way to turn it off. So for people that are concerned about uh, EMF, uh, electromagnetic frequencies, uh, the, that might be a con for some people, that there isn't a, an airplane mode to turn it off overnight while you're sleeping. So you have to leave this thing on your body while it's con you know, communicating with your, uh, your cell phone. Um, another con is the two-day battery life. Now, I know that the Aura Ring can last five to seven days per, between charges. So the, uh, the two-day charging thing every two days may be a con for some people, but it's still every two days, I'd like to see that improved in a future version of the BioStrap. Um, let's see, another con, uh, you do have to pay extra if you want increased frequency of biometric readings during your sleep sessions. It's every two minutes instead of every five minutes. Uh, you do also have to pay extra if you want to get a Zen score uh, during your meditation sessions. Um, I'd like to see those things maybe rolled in and included in the actual app itself in future releases. So. 
Uh, they're not necessary. You can use the bio strap as it is without any of those upgrades. Um, they do add just that little bit more, but are they actually worth the extra couple of bucks a month? You know, I don't know that the Brain.fm ambient background sounds really add anything to a meditation session, especially if you already have your own uh, music that you like to listen to. So would I recommend this product? Well, I don't like to give a hard yes or a hard no, but if you're somebody looking for the kind of detailed data that the Aura Ring provides, it certainly is a little bit cheaper and it's also available today so you don't have to wait four weeks to get it, which is what attracted me to the BioStrap. So if you want to read more about the BioStrap and maybe get a little bit more detailed information about this product, make sure to check out Alex's website at alexfergus.com where we're going to be having um, a detailed write-up of the BioStrap posted for you all to read. So once again, my name is Dave for Alex and alexfergus.com. I'm hoping you have a wonderful afternoon, wonderful day, wherever you are. So take care.